Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And today I just wanna show you my par readings for my Orphic Atlantic V4 and the light bars. All right, so here it is. This is the Red Sea Reefer 625XXL. And above that, I have the Atlantic uh, V4 Gen 2. I have two of them, um, along with two of the 120 Blue Plus light bars. And currently on this setup right here, I have the Atlantic V4 at max capacity or at max power. And I'm going to measure from the top about two inches below the waterline. And the waterline to the light is about nine inches. So it's roughly about 11 inches beneath the light. So I'm measuring at the top layer of the tank and I'm going through um, each corner and then also the center. And as we can see, I'm getting about 93.3 at the top uh, or at the back left. All right, and then about 303.8 by the center overflow and because the overflow is pretty thick so um, that measurement is actually not by the back of the glass so it's about probably two three inches inward towards the center so it's uh, that that's why the numbers are pretty high in that area um, and then of course if you look you, of course you get the higher numbers right in the middle that's uh, directly under the light um, you get about 933 in the dead center and about uh, 670 on the two sides and then of course the numbers in the front are a little bit lower because the light itself it's not hung directly uh, in the middle or center of the uh, uh, tank um, I think it's actually hung like two inches one and a half maybe one and a half to two inches closer to the back of the tank so that's why the numbers are a bit lower uh, for the front of the tank all right, here we have the uh, light bars on and the Atlantic off. So we're at about 16.6, 20 in the back, with the back uh, center about 260, and that's because it's directly under the light bars. Uh, in the middle, um, we get about 73 to 24 on both ends, and then about 121 in the middle. And in the front last, about 108 in the middle, and uh, 9 to 13 at the far corners. All right, now with both lights on, you can tell that with the combined lighting, the numbers are a bit higher, especially in the center area um, with um, about 680 at the uh, center sides. And then the front glass, you know, you're in the 100 to uh, 311, and in the back, 84 to about 540. All right, so here it is at the middle of the tank, which is about 11 inches from the top of the water line. And uh, as a light uh, measurement in this area, it looks like the um, power output has kind of um, kind of balanced out a little bit. So you get about uh, 100 in the front of the glass, and then the back of the glass, you get uh, between 90, well, 79 up to 337. And then in the middle, it was a bit of a hot spot earlier you know, at the top of the waterline, but in the middle, it's dropped down to uh, the peak of 673 and then tapering off to about 330, 345 on the sides of the tank. All right, so here it is, light bars at full power while the Atlantic is off. And we're getting about 38.9 to about, um, you know, 42.2 at the corners. Um, and then uh, we get in the middle about 164 and then the back middle about 206 and in the front about 105.3 All right, so here it is with both lights on 11 inches under the water par reading in the middle about 820 and then on the two sides about 400 and then the back of the glass we get about 532 in the middle centered by the overflow and at the two corners I'm getting about 107 to 127 and at the front of the glass we're getting 221.1 in the middle uh, with about 110 to uh, 104 to 110 at the far corners all right so here's the Atlantic at full power and uh, the numbers are starting to look a bit more balanced we're getting about uh, in the back 132, 126 at the far corner with 305 at the center by the overflow and then in the middle 356 and then 200 to 220 on the sides 
and at the front of the glass, 260.5 in the middle, and about 127 to 139 on the corners. All right, now with just the light bars at the bottom of the tank, we're getting about uh, 38.7, two by 45 at uh, all four corners. And then uh, in the back by the overflow, we're getting about 109.3 bar. In the middle, we're getting about 125. At the front of the glass, we're getting about 111. And uh, at the uh, middle two sides, we get about uh, 55.4 to 58.7. All right, and lastly, here it is, both lights on at the bottom of the tank. We're getting about 155 uh, to 156 at the back corners. The front of the corner, we're getting 179.5 to 190. And then the middle, a straight middle of the tank, we get about 604.7. And on the two sides of the middle, we get about 245 to 258. Uh, at the front of the glass, right in the middle, we get about 373. In the back of the glass, in the middle, we get about 358. So there you go, guys. This is the readings that I got from uh, the uh, from using the Biotech PAR meter. And I hope this gives you an idea of the power output from the Orphic Atlantic V4 Gen 2 along with the uh, Orphic 120 light bars that I'm using. And once again, I hope this answers any questions that you may have with regards to the Orphic and its light output. Uh, but if you do have any other questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them as best as I can. Uh, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to continue on with this journey of mine, go ahead and subscribe. And like always, guys, thanks for stopping by and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. <music>